Good morning, guys. Um, I still don't have the, the the email I was looking for, that coaching email for my coach for the first time. I'm waiting anxiously and patiently at the same time, checking my email like a crazy person, like every five minutes. Um, but I'm sure it's going to come soon. So I haven't started yet. Still, this day three of me in the process, and I'm ready to go. So ready to go. I'll still work out today. Um, today will be a leg day. I'm going to hit Bulgarian split squats, some glute ham raises, kind of uh, in my own little rig, maybe some natural leg extensions as well. As then, uh, and then I'll do the hip, um, the, the hip work from the course of protocol as well as the foot strengthening because I have weak feet. That's one of my goals um, through this process is to get stronger feet. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about my influences. So Ido Portal obviously is a big one. I've been following his work for maybe three years or so, maybe more. I think he was on my radar before, but I didn't know enough about it to want to investigate more. And then that started to make me want to investigate it a little bit more. Also, um, Johnny, who runs the workshops, has been an awesome influence. I've been fortunate enough to train at the same gym as him when he was in uh, Maryland for a time. He came to the gym that I was in and he was working out there while I was a, a coach there at a CrossFit gym and I learned a lot just watching him. And, um, now I'm, I've had the pleasure of going to workshops that he's taught and he's a good instructor. Um, past that other coaches, Dan John, who is like big in the fitness and exercise world. I coach youth and adults, and he does the same thing. And his his voice of reason in a sometimes kind of crazy fitness, more and more and more kind of world, I find his voice of reason to be very refreshing. And he's always got a reason for the things he does as well. It's very well thought out. So I definitely take cues from him. And then recently, Max Shank, I uh, met him at the 2015 Dragon Door Health and Strength Conference, and I really liked what he had to say. It aligned with what I was already thinking myself. Um, and I really enjoyed reading his stuff. He, he puts out a good amount online as well, with articles as well as daily five-minute flows, which can be really useful if you're looking for some inspiration for that. So Max Shank, I think that's MaxShank.com. Um, why I'm doing this, I wanted to go over some bullet points. Why I'm doing this is I've coached myself into injuries and overtraining a, a, a decent amount of time. I've re reached for me some like higher levels of performance, um, and skill and strength, and because it's me doing it, I don't have the same perspective or that, that outside heli helicopter view. So I'm gonna enjoy having a coach tell me what to do because with my own athletes, they don't end up overtrained or hurt with these nagging injuries, uh, generally because I have that outside view of them, but I just don't have anybody to do that for me. Um, so I'm looking for that. Um, who I train and who this is gonna benefit, I work at a gym called Mission Fit. You can see that sign there. We are a nonprofit and our mission is to strengthen Baltimore's youth. So any kids, youth um, in Baltimore can train here for free. We have classes after school and we'll, in the summertime we'll be having some open gyms so they can just come in and train and learn more about their bodies and um, learn a little bit more about movement and uh, staying fit and healthy. Um, I also personal train adults and they range from people with fitness goals to weightlifters to powerlifters to kettlebell sport, a little bit of everything. I enjoy the performance stuff. I also enjoy the restorative stuff as well. Um, other things I like are round head York dumbbells, which we have a whole set of, which is pretty exciting to me, like the old vintage antique style. Um, avocados and friendly people. Uh, I hope to meet more friendly people through this process, which is why I'm putting it publicly on YouTube. If I just wanted to stay in the gym by myself, I wouldn't meet very many people. So I'm looking to meet people in person as well as online. So if you want to comment, say hey. Um, you can also write me at jefffit at gmail.com and that's G-E-O-F-F-F-I-T at gmail.com. Um, I hope I have more for you with my process, hopefully tomorrow. 
this is day three, and I hope you guys are having an awesome day. All right, bye.